We finally made it, but real talk, you know the teams in Super Bowl 58, you know the deal, what you don't need is some preamble. So here are my picks that may help you build your bet slips. And let's get this right out of the way. I've got the Niners winning and covering, and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. Essentially, San Francisco has the better roster, the more complete roster, and while Mahomes and Reed can still work some magic, the 49ers are literally built to slow down an offense like this one. I'd take the Niners up to minus two and a half, but you could always hit that money line for a little more breathing room. Okay, let's look at anytime touchdowns. I love Travis Kelsey in this spot. I wish those odds were in the positive, but I can live with minus 110. In the last three playoffs, the Chiefs have played nine games. Kelsey has scored a touchdown in eight of those. He is Mahomes' safety blanket. Now, this one is more of a flyer, but Kelsey has also scored the first Kansas City touchdown in five of the last six Chiefs postseason games. At around plus 300 or greater, I think this one's worth a shot. In a vacuum, taking a Christian McCaffrey anytime touchdown seems like a lock, but with odds hovering around minus 225, I don't know that it's worth a straight wager, and I think it might be a case of diminishing returns. That said, if you have a spicy little three or four leg parlay you love, and if you wanna boost the payout a little further, I'd definitely consider throwing a CMC anytime touchdown in there. I'd also consider a play of a Debo anytime TD at plus 175. Now let's look at a couple of quick player props I'm liking. Isaiah Pacheco over 16 and a half rushing attempts. The Niners had the NFL's third best scoring offense and the Chiefs may opt for ball control to keep it out of the hands of CMC, Debo and Kittle. Pacheco has hit this mark in five of his last eight games. Brock Purdy over 263 and a half passing and rushing yards. There's a chance Purdy hits this mark on passing yards alone, but against the Lions in the NFC title game, Purdy unlocked his mobility to compromise Detroit's defense. Against Spags, he may have to do it again. Patrick Mahomes under 261 and a half passing yards. I don't love a lot of the Mahomes offerings out there, but I think his passing total is a bit inflated. He's hit this mark just once in his last five games. And in the one he got, he got only 262 passing yards. Okay, there you have it a plethora of bets for your consideration ahead of Super Bowl Sunday. Let me know which ones you're hitting in the comments section below.